So, I've sort of just grasped onto the fact that you can change your mind about what you want to do every day. Um, it doesn't matter what you want to do yesterday or what people thought you were yesterday. It sort of matters what you are today. So if that's different from yesterday, it's okay to experiment with that. I mean, you should be able to be five again and just try out a bunch of different things, you know, until one thing clicks and then you'll never not want to do it. Oh my goodness, this past year and a half has just completely changed my life. I mean, I thought I was just see that kid who people don't really think about. I was that kid who's just like, look at that dumb stone or look at that, you know, look at that hick. And now it's just kind of like altered it where I'm just like, man, that person's good at art and I'm starting to notice, I'm starting to dream, I'm connecting and then I'm doing. And so it's just kind of like a, it's just kind of like this process that like, some of it can be slow and some of it's just like a sprint, but it's working, it's, it's cool. It's just like any other town, any other town has the, has I think the opportunity and the, the resources to do something great and we just gotta show them how to. You know, not seeing people as like one type of group or one type of ethnicity, you know. You know, people are all around different and so I'm doing the challenge of seeing that and my tag kind of starts out with me signing and so maybe they think that I'm deaf, maybe they think that I'm hard of hearing, maybe they think that I'm hearing. But as, this, as my talk goes on, next I'm, I'm singing a song that I wrote about the challenge and they say, oh, this person's a little bit more eclectic and they start to see that, oh, he's not just, you know, he's not just a signer, he's a singer. Then at the end I'm talking and I say, okay, so now there's three things this kid has. He is signing, he does some singing, whether it's good or bad, and now he's talking, so he's a, you know, he's a speaker. So maybe that will open their eyes and I think it will open their eyes to see that, oh, we're looking at, when we look at people in the street, we're looking at people who can do so much more than what our eyes think they are. Because without it, I wouldn't have known what I, that I can really do anything. Without it, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have got the chance to found, find out who I really am. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have known as much as I do now. And I'm so glad that I have. So the BU House helped me not only understand like who I was, but understand out what I could do and what I could, what the world can, or what my city and the world and all these places can turn into if everybody just gets time and space. And that's a lot of the things that the BU House has brought to me is time and space to become myself. And now, the B, I feel like the BU House is a starting point for people who are not really getting it and don't really understand that they really could do anything and they really are amazing. So the food pharmacy, it's like, it's spelled P-H-O-O-D and then pharmacy. And I sort of thought of that because like, the f I want the food to be the medicine and instead of like prescription drugs. So I sort of mix the two. And what it is, it's like where people can come and they can see, like if they have something wrong with them, they can see like what food helps with that. Like um, if they have a headache, they can, you know, figure out what type of food they should eat. And then they can come and help like grow their food and see how it's cooked and just sort of like an education place where they can learn about how to eat um, and how to grow. Because a lot of people, you know, they don't know, they just, go get a box and that's their food. So now I'm the youngest yoga instructor in the nation because I've only been doing it for two years myself. So I'm still, you know, working on it, but it's sort of helped me by teaching. It's gotten me better. I have two very different sides to me. I have a very wild, adventurous side, and then I have more quiet, calmer side. And the two of them work together in my books a lot. Writing is a whole different world for me. Um, the characters seem so real that sometimes you just disappear into the pages and then you, you can't get out until someone shakes you. I'm working on my novel, uh, the second one. It's about 250 pages long now. And I've had a few little glitches in that. My neighbor's been helping me out a little bit with some cool ideas for that. Um, and I'm illustrating it. Like this drawing here, this is Maruna. She's sort of one of the main characters. And I felt like drawing her. 